You can get a sense of how big the crowd. Did some folks go home, or, or is that the same crowd? No, that, uh... no, 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 no. Nobody has gone home. Uh, <laughs> they're starting to file out now after Donald Trump left the stage, but uh, there are still uh, quite a large number of people here, and many people obviously wanting to get a picture with now President-elect Donald Trump. He took the stage with a number of his top aides, but also his family by his side, his wife Melania, his son Baron, daughter Ivanka, her husband Jared Kushner, his uh, sons Eric and Don, and their wives as well. Um, it was a very jubilant moment for them. You could almost, maybe it's just me, but you could almost see the surprise, the shock, or the moment hitting them uh, on their faces. And if you asked me to predict if Donald Trump would come out and give a, a speech as gracious as that just was, um, especially towards Hillary Clinton, I would point towards what he did in Iowa after he lost to Ted Cruz. He did surprise everybody by coming out and giving quite a gracious speech. The question is, uh, what Donald Trump do we see tomorrow and going forward? And where do the very many policies that he's put forth during this campaign season, what happens to them? And does he follow through with the promises of building a wall? Remember, it was only a few days ago that Donald Trump was promising uh, to put Hillary Clinton in jail. He was promising to investigate the investigation into the FBI. He was calling the system rigged. He was saying, uh, obviously, they were out to get him. Obviously, the system was rigged in Hillary Clinton's favor. That is no longer the case for Donald Trump as he has won this election. Uh, I wonder how he continues to react towards Hillary Clinton and how he reacts to whether or not Hillary Clinton does uh, take some sort of stage tomorrow to address the American public. It is quite a reversal. Um, for the past few months, everybody had been wondering if Donald Trump were to lose this election, how would he concede? A lot of scrutiny around him about whether he would concede graciously as the polls showed him behind. And now what we are seeing that is that Donald Trump came out and graciously, graciously accepted uh, the, the president-elect title, and Hillary Clinton still has not addressed the American public. Right. He Kate, says that she did call him and, and that she congratulated us. And, he and, made and, a point to say us. And, and Katie, it was interesting watching him. You're right. There was so much humility there. He talked about being uh, president for all Americans reaching out to those who, who did not support him. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.